What's up guys, this is your boy Prince from Inside Tech and I just came up with this new series that I'm going to be doing every week. I'll just basically go around and you know tweak for cool Android apps that you can run on your Android. So um, this is the Galaxy S4 so I'll probably be doing um, more videos with it. So let's get right into it. Okay so as you can see I'm on my um, you know choose your launcher. Um, window which um, I have to choose my launcher you know in order for uh, my phone to boot into the launcher now I have the touchways and the uh, as you can see I have Facebook home uh, easy launcher and buzz launcher let me just go ahead and start from the you know touch um, touchways um, home so this is my touchways home and I want to show you this cool launcher that I um, I got the other launcher called the buzz launcher now, if I click it, as you can see, it kind of changed my um, whole, um, you know, um, UI, which is not a big deal. So, this is how it works. You can just basically just swipe from down, and you get your, uh, you, you know, you have your menu there. Or, in order for you to get like more themes and you know, cool stuff, all you want to do is um, click this icon right here. Which your home page was basically um on the touchways that is where you know you located your apps and stuff or you can just go to app drawer and you know you get your apps uh, i mean your menu so let me show you guys how to get more themes on this um what you want to do is go to home pack ba um home pack bars and Okay, so we have this cool um, themes that they actually updated every day. They uh, they bring in like new, they bring in new themes every day for you to download. So you just go ahead and you know browse through it and you know find the perfect one for you. Uh, I I think this one is good for me. Let me just uh, because I really like listening to music. So let me just go ahead and download this one. So you just basically download it. And you can apply it to your home or add it to your home. So let's say you have like other te uh, other themes that you do not want to um, delete from your you know your your Buzz launcher. You can just basically add this one that you just downloading to the other ones. So let me just go um, add to my homes, and it's downloading as you can see. So it's not preparing to preview. So as you can see, I have I have this all you know. So all I want to do is just basically just you know go. Let me just you know disable some of these because I don't I don't use these. I don't I don't use this also. And so let me just go ahead and you know basically just activate this. So when you go and confirm it, it says now downloading resources for preview. So it's downloading now. And it's done. So, as you can see, it's previewing what you're gonna get on your um, your Android phone. Now, all you wanna hit is hit confirm, and that's it. So, if I you know slide, as you can see, I have my new theme, and it's really this is really banging. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have your you know. And you can also like go into it and actually do some settings and you know um do settings like you know the current pay you can um select your uh, your current um screen and you know the slide you can make it as a cube and as you can see it is moving like cube. The next app that I want to show you guys is Telly. So let me just go ahead and open it. Okay, so as you can see you have Telly here. Now this is one of the like this is one of my this is one of the uh, my favorite apps of uh, you know on my phone. Let me just go ahead and you know 
um, um, sign in with my Facebook. Okay, so this is how Telly works. So it's basically just, you know, it's like, um, it's like, um, you know, it's like, it looks like Facebook. Um, all it does is, you know, it brings up, you know, videos and stuff, which people have posted and stuff. And it's like, it just basically just brings up, you know, um, videos that people are watching funny videos most of the time oh I think all these th all these um videos are you know funny videos if I go to popular um this one is um you know different videos this goes just be it's basically just funny videos so you can just you know watch them and you can share them also or you can take a video or you can choose an existing video or you know so it's it's a really cool app I mostly watch it because you know I get like funny videos and stuff so that's why I have this app on my on my phone. The next app that I'm going to show you guys is the Boot Manager. Now this is free in the Play Store, and all the apps that I mostly download is are free. So um, and all the apps that I mostly download is free. So you can just go ahead and you know visit the Play Store and just download it for free. Now let me just click OK. Now. Sometimes when you boot your, you know, your phone, when you turn on your phone, it kind of slows down, you know, apps and different apps, you know, opens at the startup when you um, boot up your, when you switch on your, um, your phone. So these apps actually kind of slows, slows it down, you know, not booting fast and stuff. So these are the apps that starts when my phone starts. Now, if I don't want them to start, I don't want this one to start. You can just basically click them. And you see it's red. It turns into red. And so you can just, you know, click all of them not to start when you um when you're booting your phone. In order for you to, you know, get fast booting. So once that is done, when you turn on your phone and you turn back on your um your phone, you can see there's a little um you get some more changes. The next app that I want to show you guys is the uh, Kobo. Now, if you're someone who really likes reading, this is the app for you. If you really love reading and stuff, this is the app for you. You can just basically go ahead and, you know, um, create an account. Or if you have an account already, you can just sign in. So let me just go ahead and sign in right now. Okay, so once you sign in, you can see already how um, so once you sign in you get this um whole you know it's like they have a store that you go there and download books for um, they have the free ones and the the ones that you can um, buy also let's go to my library so this is my library it has my all my books that I downloaded it has you know my beyond good and evil um Grimmies Fairy Tales, Book of Nonsense. <laughs> and yeah, more that's all that I have, you know, to read. So if you're someone who really likes reading, this app is for you. So this is the next app that I'm going to show you, the printer share. Now this is just basically share um printing um you know stuff off the internet from your phone. Now as you can see you can you know you can print documents your google docs call log messages contacts calendar pictures and gmail stuff so let me just go ahead and let's say let me choose um uh, let me just no so let's say you want to print out the calendar you just go ahead and go to the calendar you just go to print now this is not going to print right now the first thing you want to do is it's going to give you a preview and you want to go to options and select printer so we just you know it gives you all the options so let's say if it is Wi-Fi I have a Wi-Fi printer so I just want to go ahead and you know click the Wi-Fi so we detected my Wi-Fi printer so that is my Wi-Fi printer so if I go ahead and you know um, start doing it it's gonna work now the next um, app that I'm going to show you guys is the lookout security 
Now this is one of the best security um apps that is on um you know Android. It is actually on iOS and also. So let me just go ahead and review this a little bit for you guys. So this is how this thing works. You need when you download it, you need to um open an account and if you open an account and start using it so this um, app actually have like cool features let's say you have let's say um, you know you put on your security code let's say your security um your, your your passcode or you know the pattern thingy when you put on that and someone let's say st um, steals your phone or your phone gets stolen and you know probably the person will try to you know open it up once the person does that and it the person does it five times and it doesn't work this app allows your phone to take a picture of the person and send it to your email address so when you go out, um, into your email address you find the person you you um you basically you know know the person that stole your phone now th this act um this app actually comes with you know some phones and stuff and some of them to you I think you also need to download it so this is all for today so thank you guys very much for watching my video and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and um, I'll be bringing this uh, I'll be I'll be doing another video next week and I'll be bringing it to you guys on this um, on my channel so I, I suggest you guys um, subscribe to my channel as well so thank you guys very much for watching my video peace out